what's unique about CAPTI and specifically Read Basics is that there are six subtests. Each of the subtests can be administered independently or as a complete battery. So you can see the average minutes that it takes um, to complete the assessment uh, and then the number of items. And the number of items is really important because that helps us with the accuracy. So you're getting really accurate results um, because we have a large number of items, um, especially when compared to some other assessments. Okay, so now I'm gonna just walk you through CAPTI and show you how to create an assignment and then um, something else that's really exciting um, within CAPTI, the actual reports for students. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Okay, so now I've logged in and I wanna just quickly show you how to create an assignment. And when I say assignment, that's actually how we um, create the assessment. So we're talking about Read Basics today. So I'm going to create a Read Basics assignment. I'm just gonna say that this is an eighth grade um, fall assessment. I'm gonna enter in the grade level. And down here is where you can select all of the subtests. So let's say for today, I didn't want students to take reading comprehension and I'm just gonna do the first five foundational skills that lead to reading comprehension. Um, that's what I would select. And it tells you just about how long to prepare for. So it should take students about 45 minutes to complete all of those subtests. And then I'm gonna also select medium because if I'm working with eighth graders, um, there's three levels of difficulty, the low, and you can see in this little pop-up, um, it's appropriate for grades three, five, medium is six to eight, and then high is for grades nine to 12. So that's how I would create it. Um, I'd go through and put in the students that I want to take it. But what I really wanna show you now is uh, the reports that are produced. So after students take the assessment, you can go into reports and you're going to be able to look at student data. And something that is um, cool is that you get to start off with a broad overview of how students did um, collectively as a group. So this is a group of seventh graders. So you'll see um, it broken down by the subtests. And I did have students complete reading comprehension in this data. So it shows comprehension as well. And then it also gives the RTI recommendations. Um, and you can see how that's broken down um, the number of students. And then you can really start to focus in on students. So I wanna highlight a couple of students that I think are of interest, um, specifically when using Read Basics. Um, I have found students who score like Chloe, um, that this type of assessment can be really helpful for identifying what middle school learners are really struggling with. And what you're looking at here is three different assessments. So we have the fall, winter, and spring of Chloe's seventh grade year. And starting seventh grade, Chloe was at 229 for her uh, word recognition and decoding. However, what's interesting for her is her reading comprehension was slightly higher um, than her ability to decode. Um, and because I know who the student is uh, I have enough knowledge to know like why that might be. And it was really because her background knowledge was so vast. She had a huge oral language um, vocabulary, but she really struggled to make sense with the, the text on a page. So what her teacher did over the, the school year was really worked with her on intervention within word recognition and decoding. And in seventh grade, that looks different than phonics. It looked like word analysis um, where her teacher was helping her break down uh, words into syllables, knowing the syllabication rules, and then also being able to connect it to morphology by looking at those um, word parts and their meaning. So over the course of the school year, you can see her word recognition and decoding did increase, and it actually subsequently increased the, the rest of her uh, subtest scores because it kind of like opened up uh, her ability to like really make sense of what was on the page and her um, reading vocabulary started to um, become comparable to her oral language. Um, I want to show you one other student that I think is of interest. Um, not that all students aren't of interest, but I, 
I found this student to be of interest as well. So I'm going to go to her report history and just show you this. So in the fall, she looked really strong in word recognition and decoding and reading comprehension. But her teacher noticed that there was something going on with Allison um, that she just didn't know how to make sense of how to support Allison. So when she took the fall assessment of read basics, her teacher found that she was really struggling with reading efficiency. And that construct is similar to um, something like the days or maze. Um, so it's a silent reading fluency measure. Um, so what her teacher did with her is she really focused on um, fluency practice uh, with repeated reading, and that really helped to increase her scores um, over time. Um, so she became a lot more efficient within her reading. So I think that's a really unique um, a unique lens that Read Basics can offer is by breaking down those foundational skills, you can really see where students are struggling and where other assessments, um, at least in my experience, haven't shown me as um, in depth. So we do also have recommendations for students. So I'm gonna stop showing that and go back to our slideshow. We have made implementation very easy um, by having all of the, these um, systems that can easily integrate within CAPTI. Um, so that makes it very easy to roster and then manage students. Uh, I would also like to just mention that if you do end up using CAPTI, we have um, several opportunities uh, for training and support. So we have free basic training on how to use CAPTI, and then we also have two professional development opportunities um, that are three hours each, and they go over the science of reading. And then um, also we do a deep dive into the reports um, to be able to create instructional plans.